Hey guys, Long here, back with another uh, math video. Today we're going to be studying the Kochi Swords inequality. I'll try to make this quick because I have to leave soon. So, uh, the Kochi Swords inequality, and this is how you spell Kochi Swords, basically says the sum, this sum of uh, i equals 0 to n times bi squared, sorry is greater than or equal to uh, the sum oh sorry I'll rewrite that I seem to have made a mistake is greater than or equal to the sum of a i b i equals zero can't forget your syntax squared and if you write this out basically the Cauchy Swords inequality and I, I should say the Cauchy Swords inequality is basically a numerical inequality that helps you out in a lot of math problems and Olympiad problems and it can even help you out in geometry as we'll see here this is an application that we'll do today so what if you write this out basically it's like this a1 uh, squared plus a2 squared plus a3 squared uh, dot 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 multiplied by b1 squared plus b2 squared plus b3 squared squared dot 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 is greater than or equal to a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 squared and this is a really useful inequality and uh, we'll try it out today so uh, what I want you to do is I want you to look at this problem and try to solve it and keep in mind that we're going to be using this inequality so even though it's a geometry problem it's possible to use this inequality to solve it in a really eloquent eloquent way all right so let's start so let me just take off of ah, let me just take off a bit here so you can still see the inequality while we're solving this problem so let's try something. This is an IMO problem, so it's pretty hard. So let's try something. Uh, let's first draw the diagram, of course, because I always forget to do that. Okay, so that's P. A, B, C, D. I think this one's E, F. Let's try something. What is the quantity of BC multiplied by PD? If you multiply these together, since this is the base and this is the height of this triangle P BPC, PC, which is this, times this, PD, is equal to twice the area of this triangle, this triangle right here. So that's equal to 2 times area BPC. And we do the same for the others. So CA times PE is equal to 2 times the area of PAC, which is this. And of course AB uh, times PF is equal to 2 times the area of APB, which is this. And the funny thing about this is if you add all these areas together, you get, if you add these together, you get 2 times the area of ABC. Where are you going with this, Zong? This doesn't seem to help us answer the question at all. Well, the important thing about this is, uh, the important thing about this is, we can now use this quantity in the cauchy swords equation. And by this quantity, I mean BC times PD plus CA times PE plus AB times PF. Now, take a look again and try to see if we can somehow use this quantity to solve this problem by plugging this into the cauchy swords equation. Okay, let's keep going. So if you haven't figured it out, we're going to actually uh, multiply this value Oops, PF, that's not E. I don't want to confuse you guys. Multiply this value by this value. And uh, let's try to solve it. So uh, as you can see, this looks sort of like this side, actually. I mean, there's two quantities that you multiply together. And if we actually plug these in for this, the, we actually plug this into the side, what do we get on this side then? So if A1 equals BC times PD, and B1 equals BC over PD, 
then what's a1 times b1? Well, if you take the square root, uh, sorry, a1 squared, b1 squared. I'm sorry. If you take the if you take the square root of uh, bc times pd, which is just bc square rooted times pd square rooted, and you take the square root of this expression, b1 squared, and you get uh, multiplied by bc square rooted over pd, and you multiply this out, then you get something cool. These two cancel out, and bc times bc is just bc. So you can do the same for the other. So a2 times b2 is just equal to uh, is just equal to C A and A three B three is just equal to A B. And it's really cool how when you plug these values into here, you get something so neat on this side. So really, uh, if you write the expression out, so uh, You write this out. You write this out, then you get that this is greater than or equal to a b plus b c plus c a squared, which is cool. Which is cool. I mean, we did something, but how does this help us? Well, the interesting thing about this is uh, this is constant. So this right here, this is constant. And Zong, what do you mean by constant? I mean this does not change while when p changes. This always remains the same. And do you know why? Because we just proved up here that this is two times this area of the triangle. And if this is two times the area of the triangle, what that means is that this will always remain the same. So this is constant. It will always remain the same no matter what. But this changes. This changes. And if it didn't change, we wouldn't be asking the question of what value it is uh, when it's the least, like we want to minimize it, so that changes. And we know that the lower bound is this. So what do we want to do? If that's the lower bound, we want to make these two expressions equal. We want to make this, instead of greater than or equal to, the solution to the problem is when these are equal, because that means then this value is at its least. Because when it's equal to this and it's the lower bound, this will be at its least value because this one's constant. So how do we make these two expressions equal, completely equal always? Well, it's always equal if you do PD is equal to PE is equal to PF. And how do I know that? Um, well, if you use some algebra, you can actually bash this out. If you, if you make it so that um, all of them are is some arbitrary value A, so a times BC plus, okay, so this is equal to A. A times CA plus A times AB. And multiply this by BC over A plus CA over A plus AB over A. I'm not going to solve it right now, but if you multiply this out, this you'll just get, you'll just get a, a quantity that's also equal to AB squared plus BC squared plus CA squared minus uh, 2ABBC minus 2AB etc etc so you can do the math yourself but basically this 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 is when uh, this is the least when we have PD equal to PE equal to PF and we out break uh, if we bash it out we get that these two sides are equal and since this always has to be greater than or equal to this lower bound right here when they're equal this is when this value is at its least so what does this mean well, if PD, PE, and PF are equal, that means this is just the in-center. So when P is the in-center, which means that if we drew a circle like this, P would be at the center, like inside the triangle. That's when that's when this is the least. So that's our solution. That the solution is that when P is in the in-center, uh, this is the least. And that's only one point. So. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understood. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed like our application of the Kachi squirt. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Let's say, let's say, here we have uh, x. We have some kind of x here, and uh, let's say that at that x we want to find what the slope is. At this point right here, we want to find what the slope is. 
And some of you may be confused because you usually need two points to find the slope. After all, you need two points and you connect them and you do like rise over run or whatever the heck and you find the slope in the graph. But with derivatives, you need to find the graph of the tangent line. 